Okay, perfect. Well, yeah, good morning, everyone. Uh, thanks, Paul. Uh, awesome breakfast as always. I'm bummed that I missed the pretty good pancakes, but I'm, and I'm also a little disappointed that I'm not in a room full of friends and instead I've got a, an empty room here at our incubator behind me. But in any case, um, good morning to everyone. Thank you for inviting me to speak. Welcome to new participants. Welcome to the new sponsors. Thank you very much. This breakfast has proven to be a cornerstone of the work that I've been engaged with in DC because all of the participants that share the values of inclusive design tend to spend a lot of time in this room, right? Um, I wanna flash back a couple of years to consensus 2022. I found myself in a room full of individuals in an industry that I had engaged and invested in starting in 2016, based on the promise of democratization and self-custody of finance, and that evolved into democratization of data, democratization of infrastructure, as we're starting to explore decentralized physical infrastructure deployments. And when I looked around the room, I found myself surrounded by a lot of people that didn't seem to be there for those same reasons and didn't necessarily seem to share those same values. And so in any case, that year, I recognized that it was important to start bringing my community together and those that are values aligned together. So I want to talk a little bit about this evolution at Consensus, and I want to give Coindesk a lot of credit for the progress that's been made just in the last few years. So this year, we gave our inaugural Inclusive Leadership Award to Janelle McCann, because Janelle was instrumental in finding the values aligned individuals within the organization that were focused more on the potential human impact of these technologies than they were focused on the money that they could concentrate for themselves and the power that they could bring to their organizations. And this Inclusive Leadership Award recognized that consensus over the last couple of years has made great strides to amplify the voice of the human and socio technical perspective. So, and that includes the main stage presentations with Frank McCourt and Michael Casey in regards to the Project Liberty updates. So, with that being said, um, consensus this last year provided the 501c3 and nonprofit community through the Inclusive Design Institute over a million dollars of in kind resources in the form of badges, in the form of very steep discounts for our members. 90% off of pro passes for members of community-driven charitable 501c3 organizations. And we've got some really exciting prospects in the work for Consensus 2025. And I just received confirmation yesterday that members of the Inclusive Design Institute and WebQ, our LGBTQIA plus community development initiative, will be receiving 90% off of their badges for Consensus 2025, both in Hong Kong and in Toronto. We are bringing together a coalition of charitable community-driven 501c3 organizations and academic institutions and think tank scholars to build a consortium that can derive value from these generous contributions of Consensus, while also amplifying the humanitarian and socio-technical elements that are so possible with this technology, but are not going to happen by default. If we do not design intentionally to include a broader base of users and a broader base of stakeholders, we are going to find ourselves developing systems that are unfortunately quite similar to the ones that exclude and oppress today. So, being that it's Pride Month, I'm sorry that I'm not there with my WebQ pins for everyone, um, but I do want to point out some, some areas that we have to grow as an industry. Association for Women in Cryptocurrency recently did a survey, and of the surveyed participants, 68% of LGBTQIA plus employees that work in digital assets reported unsafe working conditions as a result of their orientation. I'm going to say that again, 68%. So looking at this room, we have work to do. We have to fix 
this issue or else we are going to continue to create systems that exclude and that exploit. So WebQ is a 501c3 organization. If I'm not mistaken, we are the only queer-driven 501c3 organization in the ecosystem. If anyone knows of others, please introduce us, because that's a coalition that we would be excited to participate in. Uh, we are a member-driven advocacy organization, and we are here to help solve for that problem within the industry. But that's a problem that we can't solve alone. And so I'm going to ask each of you to think about what you can do within your organizations to reach out to us, to reach out to me, to provide you the tools required to start improving these working conditions and ensuring that we have a safe environment that's inclusive of the broadest range of perspective possible. So we need you. And with this new support coming down the pipeline from Coindesk, the cost of membership far is eclipsed by the savings of the badges for those that participate in these industry conferences. If you represent a 501c3, either a learning institution or a community-driven advocacy org, please reach out. Um, we're building a consortium where next year we will be able to provide pro passes for your teams at no cost. We will be able to provide meeting spaces for you to gather your community at no cost. And we'll be able to provide some discounted badges for the key stakeholders within your organization and your members. So thank you all so much. I look forward to doing this work with you. We have come so far, but we still have a lot of room to grow. Thank you.